Hey, this is Lee Everest. i um, going to um, demonstrate or show you how to um, upgrade the service pack on Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2. We're going to go to service pack 2. Um, the first thing you need to do is you need to check and make sure that there are no um, um, updates, Windows updates. And as you can see that on my um, my SQL Server, SQL Mirror 2 here, um, which is uh, not the primary. It's got s seven important updates and one optional. And so as you can see that right now I've got um, I've got this thing suspended and it's over here. Um, I failed it over to SQL Mirror 2. And so um, what I've done so far is um, I have uh, gone ahead and installed the updates over here on, on, on this machine, SQL Mirror 1. So what I want to do at this point is um, I want to go back and add the updates before I start on SQL Mirror 2. So <clears throat> the first thing that um, we need to do is we need to restart mirroring again. So if I go into here into the properties and mirroring and then I'm going to do um, resume and then I'm going to go ahead and fail it back over to SQL Mirror 1. So I'm going to go fail over. I can do it all at the same time here. doesn't really matter. Um, combining. And you can see that now it's back over on my principal. And if I refresh SQL Mirror 2, um, now it's synchronized and restoring. So now I can go ahead and go over to SQL Mirror 2 here and do these updates. So I'm going to do the updates right now. Um, let's go ahead and pause that thing over here. So I'm going to go Properties and mirroring and then I'm going to do pause mirroring and now it's going to show a new status where it's suspended and so now I can go back over finally to um, SQL Mirror 2 here and install the updates so I'm going to install these and I'll be back in just a second okay so we now we have all of our um, Windows patches and security updates and all that stuff ready to go so we're back to where we were um, you can see I have my witness, my and my two mirror machines of the consoles open, and then I have my management studio. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to remove the witness machine. Now that does not mean remove mirroring. That just means <clears throat> take this guy out. And if we take it out, you can see that it goes back over to the high safety without automatic failover. And so that's the very first thing that we want to do. So now that we run that. Um, then now let's go ahead and again go back into the properties again and I'm going to fail over um, over to my um, SQL Mirror 2 and so SQL Mirror 2 is now should be the principal synchronized he is now let's go ahead and go to the properties of him and we're actually gonna um, go into mirroring and then we're just gonna pause this guy so let's pause it and we're going to pause it and refresh. Now it's suspended. And this guy's suspended restoring. Now we have SQL Mirror 1 ready to go. Okay, so let's go over to SQL Mirror 1. Now we're going to open up our service pack, service pack 2, and the date created and all that stuff. Hopefully we have the right one because there's so many service packs out there. It's real easy to download the wrong one, and you'll get an error. All right, so we'll let this run. It looks like this is going to go, and um, we'll be back in just a second. Okay, I've already refreshed here, and you can see that SQL Mirror 1 is definitely now upgraded. So we have SQL Mirror 2 left, and then we have this SQL Witness here that we have to take care of. So the first thing, uh, the second thing we do after we get SQL Mirror 1 up is we go back over to SQL Mirror 2 and um, we resume mirroring and then we fail that one back over to um, to our principal so now the principal is all up, up up to snuff and everything's cool on him all we need to do on him now is go over to mirroring and um, pause mirroring on that guy so now mirroring is paused and what's left over now is one should be a suspended now suspended restoring so now all we have to do is go over to SQL Mirror 2 and do the same thing that we did go ahead and install our service pack so let's do that <clears throat> double click got the right one I know I have the right one because I copied and pasted over here so 
Um, we'll go ahead and do that. And you know what? While we're doing that right now, this, the witness is no really big deal. You can do it in any order. So I'm going to go ahead and fire him up as well. We'll just go ahead and take care of the, um, the partner and the witness at the same time here. I'll be back in a second. Those look like they're both going. Yep, okay. Back for what? Step three it is in just a minute. Okay, so we're back now, and everything should be gold. Um, let's go ahead and refresh this server. And let's go ahead and refresh this guy here at the server level. And so we're good. Looks like we have all of our um, SQL servers now have been upgraded to um, SQL Server 2008 R2 SP2. Got one little problem here. I don't know why that guy shut off. And um, this one is as well. Wait for that to come back up. Looks pretty good. All right, so both the SQL agents are running. I guess I'll need to go and check my settings on that. And um, all we need to do now is go back finally into the principle, into mirroring. And we need to um, resume mirroring, okay? So it's synchronized. That one is synchronized restoring. And it looks it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fail it over. It's not going to hurt anything just to test it. OK. And that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and put it back the way it was. Okay, so, so far so good, right? Um, it looks like everything is all upgraded. There's only one last thing that we need to do is we need to go back into um, the properties here in mirroring. We need to remember we have to add this guy back here. So I did just so happen to have put that on my clipboard. And um, <clears throat> so now he's going to be in high safety um with automatic failover and um so if we click okay on that we'll see that it looks pretty good go back in again there is no apply button maybe they should have one of those next time on the next release as far as i know um i think everything is gold here um let's refresh out again my principal is good and my partner is good for that database and my witness is good so everybody is um, upgraded to the to the next service pack I guess right um, pretty easy I know I went through that pretty fast so um, sorry about that I guess you know watch it again if you have any questions um, send me an email it's Lee at Texas 2.com or my Hotmail account, ab5sr at hotmail.com. That is, by the way, my, I am an, a ham radio, amateur radio, um, extra class operator. Um, so that's what that ab5sr thing is. Um, a couple of people asked me that over the last few weeks. So anyway, um, there you have it. Mm, that's about it. So um, what have we done? Well, we've installed a, um, we've upgraded our SQL mirror um, to the uh, most current service pack, SQL Server service pack. So, um, again, that's it for today. Give me a shout. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Keep the cards and letters coming. Thanks.